Okay, so kia ora koutou. This is a nguru carved from a bull, uh, shin bone, uh, carved by Yuri Tirani. Uh, this has been engraved with manaya and uh, ununahi uh, all over and has a hole for it to be suspended from. The nguru is traditionally played with the nose, uh, as hence the name nose flute, but I haven't practiced enough so I blow it from the mouth hole. Uh, and this one has three holes rather than four. They vary depending on the style. So uh, this will create four tones, uh, this particular piece. The next one here we have is a kowowo. Now again, I'm pretty sure that this is carved from a bull, bull shin bone uh, because of its size. This has been engraved with pākati and takarangi spirals. Takarangi spirals are predominantly seen on the front of a waka or the rear end of a waka uh, as in a guiding, guiding uh, design. Uh, but it also has manaya and tickle tickle figures carved onto it. Uh, this should also give four, five tones. That particular tone there will play as well, but it just needs a little bit of playing around with. A little bit of playing around with. I don't play daily, I just make sounds out of them. This here is carved from a deer shin bone. This one is quite narrow because, so the narrower they are to play, the harder they are to play. But um, this one, I think, is easier to play with the end closed off. Prove myself wrong so it's easier to play open but again practice then you'll get an extra tone in there and what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to open the hand halfway or full to get more tone uh, or, or change of tone all right this here is a uh, puturino the puturino is the physical embodiment of hineiro kotori now hineiro kotori is a case moth uh, which would come out of this particular hole and sing to catch its prey or mate um, and so it's been hand bound with a handmade three plat and engraved with a feku or manaya head uh, down the bottom. So this one here should, you should be able to blow from all of these holes and create a couple of different tones. So the first one uh, traditionally I think is known as the trumpet. sound um, then <laughs> so uh, again practicing and then you should be able to blow across the top to create another sound as well. And this particular one is carved from Black Maidie, which is one of the hardest New Zealand timbers. Kia ora.